come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> I want to start out this uh, episode of the show by wishing Holly uh, uh, a happy life day. Hey, thank you, Colin. Happy life <laughs> Sean, day to you. And happy to you, life day. Colin. <laughs> Michaela, happy life. Oh, I didn't think you were going to wish me a happy life day after this. <laughs> uh, you're listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. This is that time of the year we all start to get a little misty eyed about the past the holidays. But, and the holidays. But we know that the future is coming. And in the future, you will be choosing the movies that we are going to be watching in the future. And in the order fu- to do that, future, Colin? <laughs> you're going to have to go over right now, this week, uh, head over to our social medias and you can vote. On a bunch of movies that a lot of you suggested. Yep, you um, picked. Now you can vote. That's right. You've got right. this episode, the duration of this episode to vote. And then as soon as this episode's over, the, the window closes. I don't know. No if that's matter what time true. in the future yeah. you're yeah, listening to this say, episode. Tech- yeah. This is how technology works. Yeah. You're on a clock now. Yeah. yeah. So you the can. The worldwide uh, podcast clock, right? Obviously. Yeah. 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 Exactly. You can find us on uh, Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. I guess you can't email in your vote. Not, not for this. No, not okay. for this. So go there. Where would where would they find us? I mean, by email. If us? you wanted to email us, you could email us at Saturday Night Freak Show, Yahoo dot com. And uh, but you can't vote there. And you can also find us on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. All these will have mm-hmm. well Instagram. You can't even link back through Instagram. So okay, uh, just go Instagram's, to our social media. <laughs> you'll figure it out. There you go. Um, please only pick four. I think you can only pick four. Pick four oh, movies. Yeah. And there you go. We're going to watch four, the top four vote getters yep. in January. That's right. Mm-hmm. Um, so tonight we watched a, what was well, it, a movie? Well, who are yeah. we first, Colin? I wished everybody a life day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he oh, did. You okay. did. He did. He did. Yeah. He did. Uh, Michaela! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what happened what we, tonight? What we watched tonight <laughs> in this supposedly joyous season, <laughs> what did we view tonight? The Star Wars Holiday Special. Okay. Directed yeah. by, <laughs> written by, shot by. I want to know everybody's name. It's directed by Steve Binder. Do we know yeah. him? Um, if you've ever watched familiar. a TV special in the history of American television, you've seen something directed <laughs> by Steve go. Binder. All right. Uh, who's in this? Well, I should say this is like the Avengers of television specials. That's a, like a a Avengers Assemble. We got Steve Binder, the guy who directs them all. We got Bruce Valanche, the guy who's written them all. all. Yes. And then we've got Art Carney, B. Arthur, and Harvey Corman, these like bit player kind of variety show regulars mm-hmm. popping mm-hmm. up in this. Mm-hmm. You know whose name I didn't see in the credits? George, George Lucas. Lucas? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. Okay, so, okay. All okay, right. yeah. The like, folks at home, like, uh, who uh, Star Wars diehards, I'm sure have seen this. Mm. Yeah, it's like a rite of passage, okay. you know? Because yeah. right. it's a goofy thing that no one can believe actually exists. Uh, for How dare those you of call you it goofy? D- How dare you? <laughs> for those who don't know, this came out in the year... 1978. Okay, so this was after the production of A New mm-hmm. Hope and before uh, Empire Strikes Back was mm-hmm. released. And so somebody somewhere at CBS TV got the idea that, hey, this Star Wars thing is a huge deal mm-hmm. and we should make a tv somehow capitalize on it how okay. are we gonna do that okay not not a bad idea okay yeah we'll go there not a bad because idea. Well, now especially in living in 2021 and seeing how the star wars television shows are doing like the mandalorian was groundbreaking kind of you know it was mm-hmm. a big deal still and, continues to be a big deal and not to mention like variety shows were uh, okay a, a dime a dozen so well, let, that's I mean, where we were going yeah, yeah. So let's okay. talk about that okay. variety shows variety shows when you think of variety show what do you think? The Brady Bunch Variety Hour. They, yes. HR Puff and Stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. I the think Muppet of, Show. Muppet yeah. Show. I think of like the Yeehaw. Sunny, the sunny and Cher oh, Show. Oh, yeah. Right. Sunny and Cher. Like, a studio audience. Studio yeah. audience. Carol Burnett. Like there's yep. skits. There's right. live. Like that's what I It's funny. For CBS, we have actors under contract. God right. damn it. They're going to be on this <laughs> stage. <laughs> <laughs> so I had only seen this one other time. And my memory was like a traditional variety show. I did not remember this. Oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) I was mostly concerned about Sean because this was his first time watching it. This is my first time I've ever watched the Star Wars Holiday Special. When I said earlier that I only seen like, I've maybe seen a 30 second clip of this. I take that back. Maybe a 15 second clip. I've seen pictures. Okay. Yeah. 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 Screenshots. Sure. I have not 
I, I, I never decided to be like, I'm a big enough Star Wars fan. I should go watch this. Well, like, I, I don't. Never, I yeah. was a big Star Wars fan. Like when I because I think I came to the movies. I think the Empire Strikes Back was new at the point where I where you like, got into it. Yeah. And okay. I saw them out of order because then I saw Star Wars the following year on a re-release. So oh. I don't remember this being on TV. Like, well, this aired exactly one time. So if you didn't watch ah. it the one time it was airing on TV, you missed it. So it's a miracle that we got any copies of this but anybody who had to happen to be recording on their yeah, because betamax or vcr yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. their top loading betamax was probably brand spanking new yeah. when this thing was on and if you go on youtube there are multiple rips up that you can watch That's and impressive. they have different some of them have different like regional commercials and stuff on them but, so <laughs> thank god there was die hard star wars and fans thank you in the to 70s. Dayton, and thank you to dayton ohio yeah. yes. 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 dayton ohio well it was K- khio it was right w- yeah. it was whio whio, W-H-I-O. Yeah. 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 Um, Thanks for providing this clean, cleanest copy we could find of this. Yeah, because yeah. I guess that's the only way that you can see this is through bootlegs because this has been scrubbed from the uh, official historical record by yep. Lucasfilm, right? Uh, George what, Lucas has. has it? Well, so George Lucas hates this movie. Famously says he wasn't involved, but then you talk to the people at CBS, they say he was involved, but he just like he would. He would do George Lucas's idea of filmmaking of throw out ideas and everybody else execute is basically right. what he did. And he, yeah, it was like he had to at least sign off on it. To, so he's yes, aware of yes. it. Yeah. So he he said the next thing he wanted to do after A New Hope was make a movie entirely about Wookiees on the Wookiee planet. No English, no other human characters. So basically the first 20 minutes of the special. Right. He wanted the, an entire full length movie but of that. But he wanted it to be like family ties. Uh, well, <laughs> that's what we watched. The studio was like, we're not doing that. No one will watch this movie. Yep. And then so he pushed it on the variety special. Mm-hmm. And uh, Bruce Valanche was like, we have to put subtitles up. We have to. Oh, then, so Bruce Valanche was the voice of reason yes, at some point? Yes. Oh, boy. Uh, and <laughs> wow. he, said, he said George Lucas would not budge on that. He was like, you shouldn't need subtitles for storytelling, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I can understand Bruce, Bruce Valanche's point, though, because you can actually write jokes if they're subtitles, yeah. right? Yeah. But he can't write anything for the hell has this. To be physical I, humor yeah. or something. But I feel yeah. like this is a really good example of George Lucas's viewpoint on writing. Yeah, like right. doesn't this all track with like everything makes, we know about George Lucas? This makes so much sense. He focuses on the, the words weirdest. Don't matter. He, yeah, oh, but they exactly. do, George. <laughs> he he. Well, there was that. I don't know if you guys ever saw, but it was like my first kind of inkling as a kid that like movies could be bad. Was after the Phantom Menace came out, there was like you know those like TV interviews they would do with the actors to promote the film. They were talking to Liam Neeson. They were like, "So what's it like to work with George Lucas?" He goes. I shot for like three weeks with him and he said, I'll see you in a year at the premiere. <laughs> and I was like, wow, he really just like, you got your lines. Uh, all right, good. And yeah. he spends all his time on the effects and that's all he cares about. It's his sandbox. It always has been yeah. right. Like yeah. we're just living <laughs> I mean, when in When you it. say sandbox and George Lucas, all I can think about is I hate sand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so of course it gets everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so his sandbox. Yeah. <laughs> It's ironic that you say like he was trying to do like this because he like I remember hearing interviews with George Lucas where he was like forever like TV you know we want to do the Star Wars TV thing I mean yeah. like forever mm-hmm. when you were kind of like what would that be like because obviously you're not gonna have the budgets and right. all that I mean now you know obviously in the age of streaming and you know gargantuan budget TV shows you know Mandalorian looks like a Star Wars movie. Yeah. But he actually did, um, like, he did the Ewok adventure movies. Which uh, is also not good. Eh, <laughs> they I mean, cool as hell when I was a kid. Yeah. But, you know, now looking at them. Like, I mean, Wilford Brimley's well, yeah, in one of them, yeah. so that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. when I was a child. Yeah. Awesome, as, but, as what? Who is a person. Wilford Brimley? Yeah. He's, no, basically. He's like, does he have, like, a traitor or something? Does he have he, he's, he's like Art Carney in this, basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Who's in the. Okay, well, yeah. Uh, Another episode, Callan. There were two of those. <laughs> no, Michaela, adventures. it's not. <laughs> so, um, so he, they were able to get like the whole gang back together, basically. Of yeah. The performers. I mean, like you. Get I mean, they, Harrison yeah. Ford, like Mark Hamill, and Carrie Fisher mm-hmm. for half a day, right? Something. For yeah. A day. yeah. You can see it in Harrison Ford's face. His spirit there, breaks there on was, screen in this movie right, during it. one during one little <laughs> montage. You could. Uh, I you, think I think it's when uh, uh, Carrie Fisher's singing. Yeah, he's just looking down, going, "Wait, wait, 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 wait." I'm sorry. Did I, jump, did I jump sing? too far ahead? Yeah. I mean, there's so much to go through to get there. <laughs> but 
Wookie porn. <laughs> well, VR Wookie porn. Lot, VR Wookie porn. To get through. But, George yeah, Lucas George, ahead of his time. George Lucas Bruce is... Bruce Blanche ahead of his time. George Lucas said that, you know, he's always famously for for saying in these interviews that, like, if I had the time, I'd track down every copy and destroy it. And a, apparently he was able in the 70s to buy up a lot of the masters from TV stations and destroy them. But he's like, he even recently, like maybe a year, a year or two ago, like told in an interview, he was like, if I had the time, uh, what do you say? Hold on. Uh, if I had the time and a sledgehammer, I would track down every bootleg copy of that program and smash it. Um, you ha- got four billion dollars from Disney, and you don't have a job. So, what, what's stopping it. you? Yeah, what's it. stopping yeah. you from doing it? Shouldn't we have the documentary where we follow George Lucas around? And yeah, he destroys. He, it? So he doesn't care that much. And the Mandalorian, the first episode of the Mandalorian, they mention Life Day, so it is canonical again. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, well that's where <laughs> I was also yeah. going when I was saying, like, mm-hmm. you know, it's been a, uh, a scrub from the Star Wars record because there are references yep. to lumpy uh that's uh, chewbacca's kid there's mm-hmm. references to life day like because mm-hmm. all these uh subsequent star wars authors have seen this and are working it into all of their shit so oh yeah, yeah. There's references oh yeah that's what i was this. wondering i'm like all right <laughs> do i have to go back and watch everything star wars to, to be where like some one of the filmmakers thought we're gonna branch off from this part of the christmas special the holiday special yeah and this is our universe now this I is would, the mandalorian i would absolutely do that if i was right hell yeah star wars. well no, absolutely. definitely definitely absolutely. yes so you Especially know how- for jordan Libby, like george lucas doesn't like this <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah. Yeah. absolutely <laughs> I would study this. <laughs> you know how we talk about how James Gunn has watched everything we've ever done on the free show? Did you guys know the Guardians of the Galaxy are getting a holiday They're special a inspired holiday special. by this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's straight up said it's inspired by this. Yeah. So, like, James Gunn, I I love him, but I don't think he has an original thought ever. Because if, how many movies have we watched on this podcast that we're like, oh, that's exactly James like Gunn that James Gunn movie. movie yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, he's a nostalgia buff. But his stuff is original within the context. He, he's able to take... Guardians and, doing Star Wars. That's yeah, two properties is it be doubling a up. Variety show. Yes, it's a. It, he said it's directly inspired by the Star Wars. I have a feeling it's going to be better. He may, well, I was yeah. say, yeah. but even if he does version. take stuff, he does it good. Yeah, or he yeah. can. He has the ability to do it very well. So, yeah. so that's twenty twenty three or something like that. That's coming out so. at Christmas. Yeah. This yeah. is actually, ironically, not a Christmas holiday no. special. This aired pre Thanksgiving mm-hmm. in mm. nineteen seventy eight. Yes. Ergo, they have a Life Day dinner, and everybody's right. trying to make the Life Day dinner. Okay, we need to talk about what this is about. All right, what's the the setup to this? Okay, so this is, I mean, so basically it's a it's a film. It's videotaped. It's uh, uh, and then interspersed with a bunch of variety yeah. skits. moments. Right. So there's like an over, there's like a wraparound story, and what's going on there? Should we structurally... Uh, that was a good concept. Yes. Execution? Wait. Not so much. Yeah. <laughs> Let's back that up. That it was a good... Oh, what, do you t- what do you mean when you say... The wraparound variety. The wraparound oh, variety. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Structurally, yeah. They could have had something there. Okay. It's a good start, you know? Yeah. 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 But the one they went with is like, what's our wraparound going to be? <gasps> why, uh, <laughs> why wasn't... It probably happened way afterwards, but who's saying, well, uh, uh, bring Bill Murray, B- Murray on to sing Star Wars, like from SNL. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like this. Yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. That would have been great. <laughs> There's some bond, real bond moments in this. Time was fun. <laughs> but Chewbacca or Chewbacca, depending on Chewbacca which movie you watch, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, is trying to get home in time for Life Day. So That's he, it. So Lumpy is, I'm not going to guess they're all... Bacas, but is he Lumbaca or is he? <laughs> well, uh, I'm uh, assuming everything's short. Chewbacca has a nephew named Lobaca. Where'd you uh, hear that? So the extended canon oh, novels. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yes. it could be Lumbaca. Lumbaca. We, oh, maybe, it, yeah. Well, Ichibaka? Yeah. Ichibaka. So, uh, Mala is like Mala Lump something. It's short. Mala is short for something. Mala's so. the wife. Mm-hmm. Mala Lumbaca? Something Chewbacca's like that. Chewbacca's married. Chewbacca's yeah. married. He's a deadbeat dad, apparently. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I'm like, he's gone. On, no, he's like a long distance ice he's, truck driver. Was, like, he's he just like a trucker. That. He's he like just, a trucker. Yeah. yeah he's just gone for long periods of time. <laughs> Space road truckers. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He comes back, sees his family. But he splits the second life day is over. He, he's I mean, split. He's out of there. He's, he's not like, even home right, for twenty four hours. Yeah, that's all I can. Yeah. Well, so is that like smuggle. his job, a smuggler? I guess. Yes. Oh, I yeah. mean, yeah. this is like one of these things. Where obviously, I think that the audience for this, we would agree, is like uh, children who were enamored of Star Wars. Yeah. yeah. And so this is aimed at your the the identification character is supposed to be lumpy. 
And 17 year olds, I imagine everyone from that 70s show would have gotten high and loved. Where's that episode? <laughs> Where, is yeah. that episode? Where is that episode? They love Star Wars so much in that show. Where yeah. is that episode? They had to get official permission. I think to are do they that? too? Af- is, no one was not going to give them. Is right, anyone? Permission yeah, yeah. Is through. everyone too afraid to like po- you know get is it, George Lucas's attention? Is it you because know, because it was on CBS. Could be. Yeah. Maybe because the Ewok adventure was on NBC. Oh, no, interesting. I don't, I don't know. I just feel like, yeah, <laughs> especially at this point in time, like George Lucas had a lot of money and all owned all the rights. So like, right. Yeah, everyone was afraid. But now that he doesn't own shit anymore, it's like, I'm sure you could probably do it now. But although I've heard, even though this has never been officially released, uh, there's an animated segment that uh, introduces Boba Fett for the first time. Yeah. It takes place in the middle of this. And that is now oh. available on its own on Disney Plus. On Disney Plus oh, in wow. a high def version. Yep. Mm. That's right. I forgot that he didn't show up until the second yep. one. So this would be his This first. is his first canonical appearance. Yeah. So That's why this is a very is important on the map. special. Come down. Special. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's go through. Um, we got uh, 20 minutes of. Yeah. It grunts and cooking well, because we've well, got like the the kid lumpy is uh waiting for his dad to get home right i which is i suppose like okay anybody can associate with this waiting yes. for dad to get home from work basically mm-hmm. mom's making him do chores he's gotta go and uh you know clean wash the dishes wookies have dishes to clean kitchens they have tv cabinets they have picture frames it's like the brady bunch house on a tree yeah Yeah, it is grandpa's sitting on the trying to put a model together probably for a life day present of an x-wing or something like that this is uh itchy some jerk off tool known as this guy (laughs) this guy's gross He's a dirty old man. Yeah, very. Uh, grandpa, dirty old yes. Woman, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, why, do you, why do you say that? I wonder why he's itchy. Because he's cranking about? it to We're VR porn about... in the living room. What? In because... a Star Wars TV <laughs> series show for kids? Because what are you Ed saying? Norton brings him Wookiee porn. Ed Norton from the Honeymooners. Yes, yeah, that's what I mean. Mm-hmm. Is, uh, Art Carney's yes. Art Carney, one yes. of our first special guest stars. And he who's he in this show? Uh, a, I don't remember the guy's he name. He's a part, junk trader. He's a, he's trader, a junk yeah. trader. He's part of the alliance of the rebel alliance. Mm-hmm. Okay, but we get a skit involving him because uh, I mean, basically, this is the 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 driving thing is uh, Han and Chewie are off saving the world because Han Solo lives the most exciting life of anyone everywhere. <laughs> right? Like, if he mm-hmm. leaves his parking spot. The Imperials are on him. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no matter what, they can track yeah. him anywhere. But man, they can never catch up to him. Apparently, they track him through <laughs> hyperspace, yeah. and this he like jumps away from him, and they still somehow it's find. Li- it's literally Wiley e. Coyote and Roadrunner. Mm-hmm. This is why the Falcon is legendary. Yeah, yeah. he can never stay at the Life Day party for too long, right? Because yeah. he's got to like get back out because you know, <laughs> because they, he's like coming uh, for I me. can't stay yeah. too long. I'll kill myself. I'll I let you to. guys <laughs> get searched by the Imperial police, and you ha- have fun with that. But I'm going to split. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he even tells him like. They're going to come looking for this guy. Mm-hmm. See ya. Well, he's trying to get Chewbacca home for Life Day, which mm-hmm. is a very important thing amongst the Wookiees on Kashuk. What was the Kash- name of the planet? Kashyyyk. Well, we know that. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm part of the converted. I saw Solo. Player. Yeah. But what did they say in the show? Sean's looking at me weird. You never what? heard Kashyyyk? Yeah, My God, man. Are Wookie you not a Star Wars yeah. fan? I'm looking at you because okay. you're like, I know Kashyyyk. Yeah. Like, the one guy says like Kazook, and yeah, that's Kazook, way, way yeah. wrong. Yeah, that's yeah. what I heard. Very yeah, wrong. way wrong. Kazook. Um, Maybe it's like how like people from Missouri say Missouri. Maybe, Maybe you yeah. Know. If you're a local, it's <laughs> well, we're trying to figure out Wookiee dialect. I mean, yeah. it's just, tra- I'm, translated. Hey, English. I'm trying here, Sean. Yeah. It's just like the effort. it's just like in a New Hope how Obi Wan says Chewbacca. Exactly. Yeah. Chewbacca. Yeah. yeah. Chewbacca. There's no pronunciation guide in no. the Star Wars Bible or something like that. Um, <laughs> no. So it would just be. So basically, like as they're trying to get to Kashuk in order to, uh, you know, participate in the mind melding society like <laughs> finale of uh, Life Day, mm-hmm. um, the cult ceremony, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, the cloaks. What did you say? The cult, cult ceremony. The cult yeah. Ceremony. The cult ceremony. The cult it, it looks nice. very. Um, oh my God! What was the sneaker wearing? Cult Heaven's Gate. It feels very yeah, Heaven's Gate at the end. Yep. <laughs> okay, but we'll get there, listener. Don't worry, we're gonna get there. And so the other plot driver is that the space Nazis are basically coming door to door, looking for the hidden rebels that are hidden under the floorboards, yes. tearing mm-hmm. everything apart. And they spend an awful lot of time an awful in lot. this random house because watching think- MTV, basically. Yeah, <laughs> but it's but it's not random. They know who's supposed to live there. Mm-hmm. They know it's Chewbacca. They yeah. know it's Chewbacca. Yeah. They're waiting okay. for him to come home. Um, okay, but but so in between, between this, relatives, there are 
on the Nisa floorboard. <laughs> that, like, if you'd go away, we promise. <laughs> I would have respected <laughs> if they would have committed to those accents. You <laughs> that would have been yeah. great. The new star, yeah, because the guy should have had a British accent. He should have. Yeah. Yeah. There was yeah. no British accents in this, was there? I know, that's what the new movies, that's new Star Wars weird. movies, fucked all up. Mm. It's like the, the Empire is all British. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, the new Star Wars movies are missing that, like the very Nazi esque yeah. World War II uh, thing that the original Star Wars movies kind of had going for. Well, mm-hmm. I suppose the Empire is gone. They're pretty intense the in this order. one. Yeah, um, ripping heads off toys and shit. I know. Right? I know. That, well, that was unnecessary. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That made me sad. Yeah. When he, when he, I know. It made when he picks it up and tucks it into bed. Right? Yeah. That made me really sad. Right. And then puts the covers on. Yeah. That made me really sad. So but you didn't expect to feel that emotion going into the Sean, did you? I didn't expect to feel much but anger, but no. that made me feel sad. Weird these feelings. <laughs> you didn't get all misty eyed when uh, B. Arthur had to shoo everybody out oh of her house uh, to yeah. the musical oh, okay. stylings Let's, of the sorry. canteen th- theme yeah. song. Let's refocus. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's like, yeah. We're, I mean, we're jumping we're talk- all around. We're but talking about the traitor. Is that what we were? Junk traitor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Art yeah, Carney's right. a junk Art traitor. Carney's he brought everyone Life Day gifts. Yep. Right. Yep. Well, that was our first segment, right? Our first skit was Art Carney and the Imperial dude who was right. going through mm-hmm. all of his stuff. That right. was hilarious. And then, was it? <laughs> yeah, the was pocket that? pocket fish tank that just kills him every that's, time. You know, yep. that was that's not comedy, Colin. I know you're fooled because you don't know. And but like, that's not comedy. <laughs> Wait, it's not comedy. No. Variety show. What? No. Okay, so what was that? that Maybe was that's the why they didn't have an section? audience because they're going to be like, nobody's going to laugh. See, at that's this. that's my question. I want to know, like, of the people that watched this. When it like the only time it aired, was it effective to them? Did they enjoy it? Did they find it funny? I bet that I Han Solo anyone, joke did killed. anyone like it? That's I, why it became a cult. Like, like yeah, I saw the craziest. But I mean, like <laughs> ten year old saw it, right? Mm. And the ten year old person in, do you grow up to be? Yeah, <laughs> the ten year old doesn't go like this is the most shitty thing ever. They have to be like, I this feel weird. weird. Yeah. Starship. After seeing this, <laughs> for many I reasons, I thought I'd be happy, but I'm not happy. I just feel weird. But I want to take psychedelic uh, drugs. Holly, if, I bet that a hand solo joke would have killed back then. That <laughs> one Art Carney says about you could say she did it by uh, hand uh, solo. Uh, yeah, yeah, I bet that killed. It's all in Probably code. Did. Yeah, he's Probably speaking did. in code, yeah. making jokes. Oh, French you. underground code. Woo. Um, okay, so Art Carney comes to the house, gives everybody mm-hmm. their gifts, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he gives one of the Mala gifts. boombox. That's right. <laughs> a Wookiee boombox. <laughs> what, what does that do? That is, well, technically everything it just turns out to be a hologram. Yeah, plays music videos. Yeah, music yeah. plays a Jefferson Starship music video. Yep. It's Jefferson Starship. It's Jefferson Starship. A full on performance of Jefferson Starship but with not, lightsaber almost a full mics. On performance. Yeah, but not like the, like the fun Jefferson Starship. No. I mean, like the lame Jefferson Starship. Yeah, and we, but, we mentioned mean, that Grace Slick is absent, even yeah. though she yeah. was like the only surviving member through to Starship after mm-hmm. Jefferson Airplane and all that. But uh, the, it's just. It's appropriate, I suppose, because they have Starship in their name. Yep. That's why yep. that's yep. their exactly. agents that, I'm sure that's all that's, it was. Yeah, yep. exactly why. All it was. Mm-hmm. They're just like, give me a list mm-hmm. of people with Starship. Or really ELO is which probably is, second on the list, I'm which sure. Which is why I said Deep Purple, because we get space trucking, which would have been fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that would have been wild. Yeah. <laughs> this is played. So this is one of the skits. This comes a little later. But this is uh, the traitor trying to distract the Imperial guy who's like comes to the house. Mm-hmm. The Imperial Gestapo. Yep. And it was like, here, you have to, you know, the guy's what like, what's this? Watch some him. Jefferson Starship. Yeah. Yeah. For three minutes, yep. he watches Jefferson oh, Starship, yes. but does crack a smile. He does. He likes it. He likes it, Colin. He, he was won over by it. Programming that will wean him over to the rebel side? I think I think so. And then he shows his friends, and slowly this is how the rebellion yes. saved All by because of Jefferson saved Starship. Be, saved by rock and roll. Saved yep. by rock and roll. Power of rock. Yep. Yes. Damn right. Goddamn right. Uh, I will say it injects some much needed energy into this when they come on. It's it like, does. all right, all right, True. I'm waking up now. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm waking you up. weren't woken up by the <laughs> appearance of Diane Carroll. I was going to say, well, Grandpa well, was woken up. That was, yeah. yeah. Grandpa yeah. Itchy woke up, that's for damn sure. Yeah, yeah, because uh, Art Carney brought him, he's like, uh, I brought you something, it's... Uh, just say it's uh wow <laughs> and, we're, and, and sean i love that that's all it took for you to pick up on exactly what was happening because i'm like i know where he's going i know what he's talking about he brought him porn <laughs> <laughs> he brought him girlies to look at yeah. <laughs> and and diane carroll is the one he brought to look at the wookie sits there and puts on a vr helmet. in the living room in the, in living, the living room, room. In the living room. 
and Diane Carroll appears and uh, uh, tries to seduce yeah. him. But it's, yeah, she's like a virtual. Reality it's like a JOI character. video. The, yeah, yeah. The way that they that she describes it because she's telling him what's happening. Mm -hmm. That she's like his projection. Like he, he, she is exactly what he wants. It's like so, he doesn't want. Or doesn't she say something like? She doesn't uh, want a Wookie. She doesn't. He doesn't want a Wookie. Yeah. Yeah. He wants Diane Carroll because she is his fantasy. I mean, look his how old pleasure. he is. He's had Wookie and he's sick of it. Yeah. He wants <laughs> something <laughs> new. It's, listen, Tired of Wookie. Listener, it gets really uncomfortable because she says a lot of so so like oh, sexual things. Like yeah. I can feel you. Straight, can you feel me? Right. Like, Not even try it. straight sexual shit. I can feel my creation. She's talking to him to yeah. get him aroused. Yes, it is uncomfortable. This well, is going yes. to the 1970s. This yep. People nuts. where the free love was still happening. Yeah, this is the extent of it I, in your children's show. I yeah. know it's great, but it's <laughs> nuts. Yeah. And it goes on for so oh, no. long. Because then she goes in. It's like a minute of her talking to him, building which it is up, really man. uncomfortable. It really. Is. And yeah. he's like, they cut to his face every once in a while, and he's like he's gumming like, himself. Yeah, and it's Ugh. looks like he's jerking it. Like, yeah, he's happy about it. Yeah, and then, so it's a minute of that, and then she goes into song, which is fucking trippy. It's like a James it's Bond James music Bond video. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, very James yeah. Bondy. There's yep. jewels yeah. circling all over the yeah. place. She's got feathers on her head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it was amazing, yeah. amazing piece of story. This might be the high point of it, honestly. It really was. That was the one that got <laughs> me going. <laughs> you were just bewildered, I'm, huh? Yeah, I'm like, what, what is this? Because yeah. when I saw that, I'm like, all right, anything's possible. Yeah, like, we could go anywhere at this. Anything point Anything is possible in the Star Wars well, holiday special. <laughs> yeah. When I had heard about like the VR porn aspect of it, I thought people were exaggerating. I was like, they're just, it's just a VR headset, and like they like cut away and it's just suggested. I right. did not realize like, ah. she was saying overtly sexual things directly into the camera, like no. and in a POV, like she's yeah. staring into your yeah, eyes. It's, it's POV VR porn. Yeah, like that's exactly it was. Well, she was not, predicting the yeah. future. Yeah. Not naked or anything. No, no, no. But that's it's what CBS show. That's, but Colin, it, that's what JOI porn is. Jerk off instructions. Yeah. That's no. what that is. I've never heard of this before. Yeah, but she is wearing a spectacular Bob uh, Mackie costume. Oh, yeah. 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 The costuming, yes. Yeah. 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 It it's looks true. like she shouldn't move too hard or it might all come flying off. Like, oh, it's definitely. lots of tendrils like it's and very stuff. much like Cher saw this and was like, nah, I'll pass on this one, right. Bob. Well, so he, yeah. <laughs> he put it in Star Wars. This is why when she danced around so much, she was just like holding her arm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if I let go. The sequins are going to fly <laughs> off. Everything's yeah. coming out. <laughs> we'll get really special. Well, we do get a, then there's a, a, a covert broadcast uh, where they are able to, because they're like, where is Chewbacca? He's supposed to be here for Life Day. Mm. And they get a hold of Luke Skywalker, special guest star Mark Hamill. Poor guy. In his oh, Mark. Uh, mm. the, you He's, said. Hasn't he been through The makeup right? is <laughs> like an inch thick heavy. on his face. It's and heavy. it's all like bad. The eyeliner. He's got the eyeliner eyeliners, on. yeah. Heavy. And Be yeah, because they were his... trying to balance out the rest of the makeup. Right. Yeah. But with his ugh. eyes. It makes it, him look dead. It's terrifying because his yeah. eyes look like, so looks much. like Goldie Hawn and Death Becomes Her. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes, he does. That's a yeah. good for those of, Which transfers over to his cartoon. I'm just going to say right. that. Yeah, yeah, it does. But for the listeners who don't know, I know we did the Big Red One and we talked about Mark Hamill's. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, so what happened? Why is Mark Hamill caked in makeup? <laughs> he had a <laughs> severe car accident yeah. that required facial reconstruction. Yeah. And that was shortly before this was filmed. So, so right. they basically put a, a Mark Hamill mask on him. Right. Yeah. To appear in this so, show. Yeah, so we're not criticizing yes. him per se. It's just he's it's wearing just, a lot of makeup. He does not look makeup. like Luke Skywalker. You're no. Like, and is it, who the fuck compared to his face? And I like, feel yeah. like this yeah. would have... I mean, I, I suppose people would have known at this point, but this would have been pretty jarring for people to see, I feel like. Yeah, because I thought... It, it, like Because yeah. his skin is orange. His who's skin is orange. Ham, or who's yeah. playing Luke Skywalker? They yeah. couldn't get Mark Hamill? What's going on? That's like, oh, that is Mark. Not a great haircut. Yeah. It's... Like it's because like his skin color is, doesn't look like a human skin color. No. Like yeah. that's part of the problem. If it wasn't so orange, it wouldn't be so yeah, bad. But blended well, no. Yeah. And like man, if it looks this bad on a '70s camera, can you imagine when we look like an HD nowadays? Mm. If we got a remaster of it, Ugh. yeah. yeah. But I don't think they can because this no, was no, it's no, a videotaped. No. And you know, it was missing. You guys brought it up. It was missing the live studio audio. Oh yes, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. This is the. This is my. Oh, it's a gripe I have. This is my major gripe. I don't know. But it's a gripe. Yeah. It should have had a studio audience. Okay. Can we can we do this? Can we copyright this right now? 2021 oh. Saturday Night Free Show. We like just amplify our voices, right? Mm -hmm. On post -pro processing. We record a laugh track. 
to do, do we have this to, and then just put it in there but and put it, it on YouTube? But does it have to be our actual reactions to the show? No, no, no. We, no we do, like, no, we do because, like an, a studio audience. That's yeah, fine. We should. Yeah. And then like when like the stormtroopers show up at the door, oh, you could do, ooh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. reactions yeah. and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do, like the clapping when B. Arthur shows yeah. up. Yeah. 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 We need the, the studio audience from Taxi. They were always right, good. Yeah. Like, they were good. They were good. But we need the married with children. We need the married with children studio audience for the VR porn scenes. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so yeah. you can just edit this together from stuff that. It, okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, we just get okay. The I'm not going to take the time to do this. Colin, Listener, have you? <laughs> somebody do this and then send us the link because I definitely yeah. want to see. We this. can right. definitely get some awes from like Full House or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. True, Colin, true. have you ever seen those like YouTube edits where like they take like the Big Bang Theory and take all the laugh track and the studio and it's out of it? No, it's horrifying <laughs> yeah. because well they pause so long between jokes because they have to pause for the studio audience quote unquote or laugh track and so they'll just like say something and I'll just stand there staring at each other for like five <laughs> seconds and then they start talking it's well it's I mean it's bizarre. not like I don't have a sense of what that's like because I watch the Star Wars holidays right oh, f- yeah. exactly yeah, that's true yeah. So, uh, so after the phone call from Luke, um, I believe, well, like, what was the next? Uh, oh, well, there's the they the call Ju- Leia. There's the Julia Child's cooking. Yes. Oh no! What is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst. You were laughing during it, Sean. You got a few laughs out of this. Yes. How can you not? <laughs> I can't. I so can't. it's Harvey I can't. The, Harvey Corman uh, the, doing Julia uh, like a robotic, like Space Julia Child, right? Yeah, yeah like, Space Julia Child, but Dan Aykroyd's like really, version of it, but yeah. also Mrs. Doubtfire. Yes, yeah, that's like exactly it's those it. Dan things. Aykroyd. I'm I'm telling you, I would bet money Dan Aykroyd loves this shit. He's he, <laughs> oh, I, he's I it. very inspired by this. I, I guarantee feel like. it. But it's it's the writing. The it's it is literally well, it's like, you are watching Mala cook for ten minutes. Yeah. That's- it is an actual cooking show yes. that is supposed to, like, I guess the joke was that the cook has, uh, as it's revealed, four arms. All right, the Mala first reveal of the third up. arm, funny. Yeah. <laughs> Fourth arm, but that is the coming. joke, right? Yeah. I mean, that's the, that's well, that the piece of comedy in that, that And it's, uh, wait, whip? Whip, whip, stir. Wait, yeah, wait, 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 yeah, yeah, and whip, yeah. whip, stir. It's like whip, stir, whip, whip, stir, and then beat at the end. And yeah. more arms keep coming out yeah. for the stew yeah. thing. And it's a and person then... can't actually do this, and it's like. No, oh. but it goes on for so long, and the same thing. <laughs> the, we've watched the whole recipe. Yeah. yeah. We watched the whole, that's the, the thing is, like, if you watch, like, reruns of, like, original Saturday mm-hmm. Night Live, this is how comedy was. Back yeah. Then. Like, yeah. it is. Saturday really, Live does not age well. It does ever. not. It's really cringy. Mm-hmm. It's really boring. This is like, um, people probably thought this was funny back then. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And the big, but the biggest problem with this special is so much of it is us watching characters watch TV. <laughs> That's, yeah. a lot That's of what it. almost That's all a of it is. Of it. Like, yeah. and that is just, makes because no there's sense. no, there's no real plot there, right? Mm-hmm. They're just waiting for Chewbacca to show up. And yeah. then, then the, I guess the next thing that m- happens is the stormtroopers show up yep. and they're like, we're going to search your home. And then it becomes they keep like interrupting with these weird PSAs from the empire. Oh yeah. The Tell empire. One like, of those. Well, one of them is like here, we're going to show you some like live stream footage from a cantina on Tatooine, just so you feel better about your life. Yeah, yeah, well, that was I, really I, weird. I, yeah, I didn't even get that. Because no, I didn't like, get it either. They have a they have a screen on the wall, like kind of like uh, doesn't North Korea have this? Like you got a TV <laughs> in your house, and like the it's always on. They can communicate with you, whatever. But it's the basically you have the wall screen, and it comes on, and it's like this is an imperial notice. Yeah, and we're going to show you this. Uh, it's thing. it feels like everyone gather around for the most everyone recent must propaganda. Watch it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Which like it's that's Hunger an interesting Games. idea. <laughs> But what right. I but, don't get the propaganda like what was what were they because uh, that was the setup. This right. is going to be a propaganda what, yeah, film from the, the Empire, the, and then it's like here's a snapshot of Tat- life on Tatooine. Yeah, and then we're introduced to B. Arthur. It's basically like Mos Eisley, but B. Arthur. Do we yeah. get one it before yeah. B. Arthur? Because we get two while they're standing there watching the wall thing, and I forgot what the other one was. But there was well, there was the assembly, him assembling the code transmitter. Yeah. That That's one, the whole thing. With, with like the glitching like VHS. Oh god, like, we that forgot one, about that. That one's one really bad. That was the lowest god. point. That I think, was of that was. Awful. You're literally watching a kid watch instructions on how to assemble something except, for like four minutes straight. Except yeah. the funny part is that the guy who's doing the video breaks down all the time. Yep. Like he's part of some species that like their batteries wear out or something. So it's Harvey Corman doing like. Okay, now you want to take the 
flux capacitor. And yeah. It's and put it over here, and it just keeps doing that for over and over again. Four minutes. Yep. <laughs> and the animated one was the other one, right? It kind of feels like um, the kids watching. Yeah. Back to the Future Cafe '80s. The guy who keeps talking to him on the TV. But it's Max really Headroom gl- glitching. You guys don't remember Max. Headroom. I remember. Max I remember Max Headroom. Max Headroom from when they took over the TV station, and that was terrifying. Yeah. Where is that? Yes. The yeah. hijacking. That was. I don't. I can't watch that video. It's no horrifying. It's scary. It was yeah. a TV show. Max Headroom. It's yeah. Like set twenty seconds in the future. And, okay. I I know. I'm aware. Okay. Yeah. But I'm uh, saying I associate him with the horrifying television right, hijacking. That is where yeah. I yeah. Most. Yeah. Know him from. So there's that one, which is just an instructional video, how to put together your... Well, this serves a significant plot point. It does. Because the, the gizmo that he puts together is able... He's able to uh, project fake instructions or orders to the Imperials who have uh, occupied his Return house. to base. Mm-hmm. Yep. But there is um, the... Prop- okay, so there's... there's uh, At some point, Lumpy, that's the kid, mm-hmm. watches, uh, you know, and while they're searching his house, he goes and watches uh, basically a YouTube video um, mm-hmm. of a cartoon. I have oh, questions yeah. about this. About his dad. How, so in this universe, they're making cartoons about Luke and all of his friends going on adventures? That's what I was wondering. Right, yeah. I'm what like, the are fuck? Are they like the Robin yeah. Hood? Yeah. The, are they that popular within the right. Star Wars right. universe? Like yeah. Han Solo, <laughs> dashing space yeah. pirate and his buddy Chewbacca are on a mission to you know and yeah. it's like uh, it's animated but like Darth Vader shows up oh shit we forgot Darth Vader actually does show in up. recycled does. footage from A New Hope like yeah, scrap footage yeah mm-hmm. it says search every household or he yep. gives the order to search every yep. household okay uh, but in this cartoon then, and this was made by uh, Nelvana mm-hmm. I believe it looks like have you ever seen the movie Heavy Metal it yeah. looks like yeah. a, it does the, the, the animation style, yeah. yeah. Kind of looks like a little schoolhouse rock, too. Yeah, it does. Just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Nelvana also did uh, Strawberry Shortcake. Okay. And Care Bears. Yeah. I remember gotcha. they've done I, a bunch yeah. of other stuff. Like, now but, you're talking about my yeah, language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, did you recognize the, the style? No, I don't it, know. it is a distinct style. It's yes. for a very of this time period. Yes. Okay, but this is significantly the thing that the Star Wars Holiday Special is remembered for because it introduces Boba Fett. Mm-hmm. Uh, Riding a dinosaur? Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, they're 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 like swamp planet monsters, but the dinosaurs, yeah. the yeah. fucking dinosaurs, yeah. Yeah. both fed on a dinosaur. Okay, so big I fat mean, dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. What would you think of this segment? I mean, it's like a, a cartoon interjection in the middle of this thing because it's a variety show. Here's the it cartoon. comes in too late for me to care. <laughs> I don't think I would have cared either way. Yeah. It's like, I, to me, it just felt like this is perfectly lined up with the. Uh, like the getting high experience, like everything at one point just turns into a cartoon. So mm-hmm. I'm just like, right. what the fuck? Is that yeah, where right. the variety right. show came from? Shortened attention spans due to like, we're all smoking pot and we're like high as hell. And so we're just. I got a great idea, throwing, but I can only do it for three minutes. stuff at us. Uh, mm-hmm. it keeps, it's like a psychedelic, like, you know, trip that I you're mean, on. I mean, that's got to be part I mean, of it. I mean, any quote unquote of the writers like Bruce Valanche, anybody on that, uh, comedy writers and whatnot. All of them doing drugs. Oh, Bruce. so this is this all came from that. Bruce Valanche said his writing partner was cocaine. For there this. you go. So, <laughs> like, you he straight go. up said that. I see so, that. Yeah, go. I can see. Which that. is like, yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah. we, we, yeah, we, yeah, we it know. It feels like it was created in like a weekend. It feels like mm. it was shot the following weekend. <laughs> you know? Yep, yeah. Yeah. it is because they had all the props. And so the low budget. Yeah, the Wookiee costumes are bad. They're, They're really bad. By Stan Winston. But they don't look real. Right, because he like, had to make them in a weekend. Yeah. It's what it looks like. Other weekend. Yeah. <laughs> and like you All notice, weekends, man. <laughs> you notice they keep Chewbacca like not in the same shot usually because that costume's way better than the other ones. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna get Star Wars nerdy on you here. Mm. Okay, so Itchy mm-hmm. is an old Wookiee mm-hmm. and he's gray. So you go gray, I guess. Right, but Chewbacca in the new Star Wars mm-hmm. movies doesn't have any gray fur on him. But Wookies live for like hundreds yeah. of years. They, 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 they live, live for like hundreds of years. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for correcting yes. me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they they talk about how, like, uh, Han Solo is basically, like, his dog. And probably, yeah. probably like, his fourth or fifth dog. Yeah. Because that's how long he's been been yeah. alive for. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I, that's why yeah. you listen to the Saturday yeah. Night Freak Show podcast. <laughs> I've right never there. switched that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Which uh, is kind of even more disrespectful that Chewbacca doesn't get the medal at the end of A New Hope. Like, right. Yeah. And give it to his he's golden like, retriever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's an idiot. And, uh, like, uh, <laughs> and in the like 300 years he's been alive, how many times has he saved the fucking galaxy probably? You know? Right? Like, like, all of them? Yeah. And he's oh, like, Jesus Christ. Statues of Chewbacca. I can't even get a medal. 
Uh, that's, Hot Chewy. That's great. <laughs> Oh Where did you hear that? Was <laughs> um the uh, I've read a lot of extended canon stuff. Like there's one where uh, I think they uncanonized it when Disney bought Lucasfilm because yeah, when I Disney bought that. Lucasfilm, they took a bunch of stuff out of the canon, which that's is super true. rude because they're just gonna remake it themselves. That's yeah. why they did that. Yeah. yeah. But there's one where Chewbacca pisses off the Empire and gets a planet dropped on him, and that's how he dies. Wait, yeah. <laughs> is that how he dies? <laughs> yes. Oh my God. I knew there was a book out there yeah. where he did. I yeah. didn't know that's, that's how it yeah. went down. They that's, just drop a planet on him. Go. Yeah. Does the planet say Acme on it? <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <No>. Yeah. <laughs> through space like that. I mean, right. you got to really... That's a... I mean... Who wants Chewie to die? But that's a fitting way yeah. for Chewie to die. There's gotta, um, they had yeah, to drop a, planet? To drop a I mean, planet on you to get rid of you. That's how you want to go. That's epic. That's what yeah. I want to do. That's how I want to piss somebody off. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's a warrior's death right there. Yeah. You dropped a planet on him. There's a book that I really I've only read certain parts of it, but it's called uh, Tales from the Most Icely Cantina, and it's mm-hmm. it's all the backstories about the people that were in the cantina. And that's where, like, you hear shit like that from. Uh, like, there's a whole chapter on, like, the werewolf guy and, like, the uh, devil guy. Uh, and, like, they so all, yeah, you go into all their backstories. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah, and it goes into... He doesn't it, like you. Yeah, I don't, I, don't like even, <laughs> I don't like you either. <laughs> and it goes into, like, uh, I think one of the first chapters is Figure and Dan and the Modal Nodes, which is the band in the cantina. Uh, and the, yeah. they're also Wait, in this. Name? Figure and Dan and the Modal Nodes. This is yeah, why you listen okay, to Saturday okay. Night Free. Actually, you, you guys all knew this is before. It, I yeah. Fingering Dan? Or? No, Figrin. Figrin. Figrin Dan. Well, I thought he was like playing the little flute thing, so he'd be Fingering Dan. <laughs> if this were right, Ridley Scott. Like Fastman here, no, I'll do the I'll do the finger. I was going to say, if it was a Ridley Scott movie, it would be Fingering Dan. Yeah. Fingering yeah. Dan. Well, do you guys know, now. do you know what type of music they play? Do you know what it's called? Uh, You're gonna lose your goddamn mind broken. when you hear this. No, I wish <laughs> it's jizz music. Oh yeah, it is. Jizz music. Yes, that's true. I knew that. And it's called, it's it J I Z Z jizz music. Jizz yeah, music. that is true. That is the genre yep. of that music. Yep. This is where we're at. What do you yeah. play? Jizz. Jizz. Yeah. Figure and Dan the Modal Nodes play jizz music. Yeah. It's a cousin of jazz. Why are you yeah. guys being so sick? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Holly. Jesus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sure. Holly's like, I can't do this I anymore. Can't. <laughs> right. I was like, I'm Holly's like, like, no facade. I can't yeah. do this. Well, we're wow. going to have to get to the canteen. Okay. Yeah. So, b- b- before we get there, there is mm-hmm. the Boba Fett thing. So, it's basically, I mean, it has, uh, I mean, what's cool about it is it does have uh, Luke, Han, Leia, Darth Vader, all doing their voices, mm-hmm. and Anthony Daniels, C three PO, right? Uh, Which everyone hates him in this so much, and I love it. I love when people hate him. They C-3PO. hate him in the cartoon. Oh yeah, they're like really hating on him. Leia says something about oh, him. We're like, well, you just bet, like get like she basically tells him to fuck off at one point, you know. Yeah. And I, I love Does it. Does he have a metal mustache? I don't know. I think it's just the way it looks like a mustache. Does it? It I did. Was, I was more looking at his wrist joints because it's like his like hands were on like strings almost. They yeah. would come yeah. flying yeah. out. Uh, right. Yeah, like yeah. A, a pole, a little black pole, like mm. in the middle of his. Yeah, because uh, there's it looks <laughs> lazy animation. I was say the animation is lazy because it mm. looks like a dude dressed in a black unitard got into the thing, but in the cartoon, you know right? What I mean? Right. Well, they probably they didn't want to dry all those cords. They right. had to animate that whole thing on a weekend. Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> that's very, very true. <laughs> And they're, they're like, like, we can't create new dinosaurs or new monsters now. Dinosaurs. Yep. That's yeah. all we're doing. Yep. So Boba That's Fett is introduced. True. He is a bounty. He's established as a bounty hunter that has no affiliation with the Empire. And he helps out uh, uh, Luke Skywalker in, as they're trying to search for Han and, and Chewie. Right. And then it turns out he's actually a turncoat. He's working for Darth Vader. Shocking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And at the end of it. Because this is why it like kind of evaporated from my brain is because there's no resolution really to it. At the end of it, no. he basically says, "I'll get you next time." I'll get you next and time, it, gadget. That's basically yeah, it. yeah it is. And he fucks off, and I, I'm like, "But didn't he have them? Like dead yeah. to rights? Yeah. Like what the fuck?" And just he flies away, and I'm like, "Ooh, he's got a because Colin, you need to tune in next it. week on Han and Friends. Uh, yeah, I think that's what they're hoping for. Yeah, because for. he went to get a serum for the sleeping stuff, but we never see him. Get it and like inject them or anything. No. It, well, cut, it, it, cut, it cuts back to him like them waking up. So yeah, he, he that's just, it. Well, yeah. That's what I mean. It just cuts yeah. back so to that. So he helped them out when it would have been yeah, better because, for right. him to just take right. them into captivity while they were suffering from this thing right. and hanging upside down. Exactly. Well, because their bodies were like shutting down. Yeah. And he had to save them because. Vader wanted them alive. Oh, that's very true. Uh, yeah. that's very true. That's Welcome, true. guys. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Holly. <laughs> Holly comes in with Do you save. remember the other Lucasfilm entry into television that was called Droids? Nope. I do remember Saturday that, but I don't morning. think I watched it. It was called Sounds Droids. Familiar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And it was the further adventures of C3P on R2D2. Oh, no. And then, you know, years later, there was Clone Wars. So, I mean, he's been well, yeah. at the televisions where it's at. Mm-hmm. George Lucas, ahead of his time, right? Yeah, I he mean, knew. he never In came up with aspects, the Mandalorian. He, that was all Favreau. <laughs> Um, you don't, stop giving you don't, George you credit. Sell, yeah, you don't get to sell your company to Disney for four billion dollars unless you were ahead of something at some point. So yes, right. I mean, we can't, despite how we feel about George Lucas, like now or whatever. Yeah. You know, yeah, like he, he did a lot of Star Wars. He created that's it's all, Star Wars. It's, and that's yeah, that's it's all in good great. fun that we make fun of George. You right. know, it's yes. it's at the end of the day, he created the most iconic pop culture property ever in yeah. modern history, and it will long outlive him, and his legacy will and he live on forever. Shaped all of our childhood. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, yes, yeah. he had an impact bigger on the. Earth earth than we can ever imagine yeah. so good for him yep. yeah and but it's so fun first... and easy to make fun of him yes. love love yeah. hate love and hate, i like you know. i like that this is the kind of the way that we get star wars onto the saturday night free show <laughs> this is our official right? star mm-hmm. wars episode because we're never going to do any of the movies oh, yeah, I I guess so. we never really we yeah. talk star wars a lot outside of here but yeah. not on the show wow. right I well feel... we i think we talked about it on our like our end of the year episode well, yeah. yeah that's yeah. true Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. There are many, many, many Bothans were lost during yes. that uh, episode. Yeah. Don't see that in that movie, though. So <laughs> uh, one day, it's one of the problems the I have with Rogue will One. Get their yeah. movie, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or there's going to be a scene the, where the, just they turn hear, there was like you know because it's many Bothans died, but there's yeah. actually like maybe a guy named Man E Bothan. Oh, that's a okay, Family Guy yeah, joke. Okay, okay. They, I was going to uh, say that's probably guy, a Blue Harvest or whatever they call it. I'm pretty sure almost positive yeah. family guy did it okay. Manny Boffins. so back to the uh cantina because that's where we've been heading apparently mm-hmm. in our conversation this whole time because the band is playing the iconic john williams cantina music mm-hmm. but b arthur from the golden girls and from maude probably which Maud, she was yeah, known Maud at, at this, this time point, yes uh is the uh she's the proprietor yes yep. mm-hmm. but like they have saloon all the uh, the the costumes and the masks that they had in storage over at uh, Industrial Light and Magic, they were able to bring them over and dress the thing up. And so it's B. Arthur, like navigating this. And then there's this like so the skit is basically <laughs> Harvey Corman again. Is this his third time? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With yeah. a funny beak, and he's got a hole in his head because that's head. how he uh, the it's top like, of his head. It's like a little hairy volcano. Yeah, it's yeah. gross. <laughs> that's it how is he hairy drinks. Hi, hairy volcano. <laughs> Good to meet you. <laughs> he's infatuated with her as the barmaid, and so he comes in. And he's like, "I got a rose for you." She doesn't want to have, have anything to do with him. And then there's an imperial decree. This again, this whole thing is supposed to be a propaganda film that everyone's mm-hmm. watching. Then there's an imperial decree that there's rebel activity in the sector, and so yeah. she has to shut down. Mm. And this, then she becomes, uh, you know, I was going to say like a, a, a chantu. I, never mind. It's a <laughs> word I can't even pronounce. Chantilly. And uh, she sings, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. This, uh, so she sings. It's set to the uh, cantina theme, slowed down, which is something... I don't know that I wanted to ever hear in my life. <laughs> so how do you feel about it? Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> yep. Okay. Like that 10 year old kid. I don't, I know I, I saw something, but I don't know. I, I know I don't feel good. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's very bizarre. She's basically okay. shooing everyone out. Like, well, we've been shut down. They told us we had to close and you have to leave. Friend. Right. They all want another yes. round. And this is like, uh, so she gets to have like a big uh, musical moment uh, singing this, you know. She's a good singer. She's she fine. did better than the guy from Jefferson Starship. No, I thought. she's fine. I don't yeah. have a problem with her singing. I think you know that what? there could be <laughs> no. better use of her. That song was oh, way oh, better. Oh, shit. Which one? Starship. Well, their song is better, okay. but I was singing, saying her, right. her singing. She's a good singer. She's trying. She's, she's doing trying. her best. Yeah. Yeah. Good. It's old timey. She clearly has no idea what she's doing. Like, like she doesn't know what Star Wars is or any of this world. She's just like, I, I'm. This is a They're job. Going, it's like, a What's job. the point of this? Her right. grandson it. likes like, it or something. Yeah. So she's right, like, Star yeah. Okay, I'll do it. And then they're like, What? There's people walking around. And I'll do a Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Very touching because she has to send everybody away. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And and then, uh, they all demand. Yep. Even they, though this has revolt. no connection to like, anything else we've previously no. watched nope. whatsoever. And they revolt. That's right. Mm. Because they're all like, no. You know, it's like, because she's like, what What have I done for you? And they're all like, fuck yeah, you. Do we, me want, a favor. we want to drink. Leave. Did anyone like, tell her this is a hive of scum and villainy? Like, these people aren't going to be nice. <laughs> it's like she doesn't know her own. <laughs> yeah. Place. It's true. <laughs> she has to convince them to get out. This is like, it feels it's like weird. this is a big moment. 
uh, in like the show. Feels like it's supposed to be. Well, okay. Yeah. Because yeah. uh... this is like a combination soap opera and yeah. uh, you musical. Know, Big musical That's number. Weird. Yeah. But it has no connection to anything no. else in, no. that we watched up until this point. It's just, let's see what's happening in Tatooine. Yeah. And that's yeah. What's Hey, happening. you guys remember this from the movie, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's. Yeah, because you're, you're right. It's yeah. probably like the biggest budgeted part yeah. of it because they got like all the recognizable. Right. Wall- mm-hmm. Wallace Man's there. Like band, yep. yeah. uh, Greedo is there. Even it's Ludlow. Figure Ludlow. Figure different Joe, whatever his name is. What's his name? Figure and Dan. Okay. The, in the modal who's notes. the giant uh the giant rat uh that <laughs> yeah, i just think a giant is, rat in the they needed to fill a gap in the wall just a yeah. rodent of a, yeah. just a rodent of a new size i'm like what movie around this time had a big rat i know in that's it. what yeah. i was also, thinking i'm like I'm like where did they get this, this from this is just them like bringing in yep. shit yeah i'm like, opening a uh, a warehouse going <laughs> Yeah, because some of these characters using that loosely was like a Halloween mask with a cloak on. Some of them were what, real that's why bad looking. the werewolf in star wars is just like that so that werewolf wasn't it like it was a Don Post mask or something that they had and they were just like that was it yeah, well, oh, yeah. I was gonna say, we have this get him in there that character is named Lav Sivrek and he has a whole chapter in that Tales from the Most Icely Cantina and he was like a Rebel Alliance fighter that blew up at one point <laughs> what yeah like he's got a whole story too about everything he did and you need to read this yeah book. it's wow. it's uh it's entertaining I'm incredulous yeah. and he comes from a planet of werewolves like there's a werewolf planet in Star Wars according to this book yes this please. is why so, okay yeah. now Wait, I got it yeah. this is why you like this so much yeah. <laughs> <laughs> werewolves so he's transformed he was a guy who transformed into a werewolf and then- I, they don't go into that oh, okay. it's Where's just a planet of always a werewolf I want the werewolf planet I think planet. they're always a wolf like that they're oh okay a wolf damn it because I'm thinking it's like some like nerd and then he turns into like you know I'm bounty hunter werewolf no this you is know? like then he goes sp- yeah, like, off, space, 2021 yeah. bounty hunter werewolf, bounty hunter werewolf. <laughs> yeah. you know off mic we can look into Lab Sivrek's backstory a little bit more but, okay yeah. and his run around and we sell it to <laughs> yeah. his, his was like where is his Disney plus show yeah, we'll exactly. There. I mean, we'll get there. That's I'll watch. I get like, with all the stuff. To, but yeah, I remember that. his being one of the more interesting stories. I mean, yeah, because Dis- Do- Boba Fett has a show, and he was just a cartoon character. Yeah. Boba Fett's like a cool-looking <laughs> armor. Yeah. There's no character there. Am I wrong? No, no, because it, I every time I rewatch Jedi and Empire, I'm like, why do people get so hyped about this guy? I don't understand cool. it. I don't understand. Especially it. because his line delivery is always just so flat and just like, there's yeah. nothing, I don't understand it's the cool. why people, I, think why? Just, he, How is, I don't cool think he's cool. And he I beat Han Solo, who's cooler than him. That's fucking cool I, shit. I don't right? know why did I never, <laughs> okay. I found, you know, I found Lando more charming in the few minutes we yeah. got him than Boba Fett, Me you too. know? Boba Fett has his own, he has a book. The book of Boba. I mean, I'll watch the shit out of that, but you know, I I'm not there because of Tamora Morrison. Fucking helmet off. I know. (laughs) We established that the armor is the coolest thing about you. We like the helmet. helmet Leave it on. Yeah. Yeah. Stop taking the masks off our monsters. (laughs) Right. So lumpy. You leave it on Pedro the whole fucking show, but you take it off him every two seconds. Yeah. 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 I want to see Pedro's face. How do you cover that his. beautiful man? Right? Yeah. He's so beautiful. Did you guys ever think it was weird that he grew a mustache when he wears a helmet all the time? Uh, yeah. I mean, I On The Mandalorian. It. I mean, I know you it's gotta, just Pedro's look. He's a Mandalorian. But... He's still going to be like, I look better with a mustache. I, <laughs> I mean, he doesn't have just, big scraggly But no one beard. else sees it. But that's just for he's him. Not yeah, pale it's just as for hell. Him. I mean, yeah. I'm sure he still brushes his teeth, you know, but. Know what I mean? I know, but his whole thing is people can't see his face. That's the whole thing. And so, okay, like, we've gone off. Only- we've gone off track. <laughs> we've Are gone we in the track. weeds on the Star Wars holiday special? Okay. All right. So Lumpy uses oh, his. No. <laughs> oh, Lumpy! Lumpy uses his Lumpy newly so much. designed. I really hate Lumpy. Soundboard to convince kid. the Imperial uh, officers. That they are, have to leave. Yeah, return to yeah. base. Then they murder uh, one of the stormtroopers who's still there. Yeah, and lie about it. Yeah, to to the police. Oh, so yeah. they they commit they murdered a, pol- a federal police officer and then lied about it. Yeah, well, he is the. They're Nazi. definitely going He's in the, the space Gestapo. gulag. Yeah, this, this is when Chewie and Han finally show up. That's right. Yay! Yeah, they, they kind of just show up. Like <laughs> Harrison Ford is in this a lot. Like he's in it a lot more than uh, Mark Hamill or and, Carrie yeah. Fisher. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say he's in it a lot. He's in it a lot more than those. He's others. in the yes. like a front in the end. Else. Yeah, he's yeah. in. He's the most featured. I think. And I feel like every time they show him, he has to make some sort of comment to Chewie about how he's family. Right. Yeah. I he says it you. like a yeah. million times. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very weird. bizarre because yeah. like I don't see Han Solo this way. He's, I don't see Chewbacca yeah. this way. And it's like, here's a whole yeah. uh, show it's devoted very, to you're my family. Like, yeah. Mm, no, no. Does it feel like to you guys right before they said go or action on every scene? He just went. 
Yep. Yeah. Like, and then, and then, and then it was like, and just kind of like shook his head and then was like, all right. And you're like, like my family, just Chewie. Kill me. Yep. Kill me. Mm-hmm. I think he probably took a Kill shot. Kill my character. And they're like, uh, or, uh, Harrison, we want you to do Empire Strikes Back. He's like, uh, kill me in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, yep. We can't kill you I'm in it. to die. Mm-hmm. He's like, then we're going to do Return of the... Just fucking kill me. This yeah. is never ending. Just yep. murder me. Murder my character. Yeah. And eventually, one day, he got his wish. Yes. Uh, so, um... Oh, Jesus, Colin. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so... Do you uh, ever think that maybe Harrison Ford didn't get it? Like, he's oh, he, yeah. he's in Star Wars almost. He's like, but I no, just, he don't, I just don't get it. I don't yeah. understand. Yeah, I, I think that's always been it. I, I think that's yeah. always been it. And then he this is, didn't I just want to make sure. Yeah. It's like, it feels like he doesn't get it. He yeah. doesn't want to. Like, he doesn't no. see the point. But he's just like he's like, yeah, hey, I was a kid once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, I he's like, I was a the fuck up, nerd. Too. Yeah, <laughs> really no yeah. You're 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 like you're thirty, forty years old, and yeah. you're still, you're still yep. playing with toys. Uh, still so playing with large toys. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, so eventually they're all reunited. Stormtroopers are gone. We get uh, a family reunion, and Life Day is celebrated uh, with red cloaks and. A trip yep. through a portal. They go through a star. They go get like yes, sucked up into a star, a star, which was yeah. Which as we were watching, which is like this is the perfect ending. So like, is we that, nothing past. So this. did they like all? They put their like glowing snow globes together. Yep. and that po- teleports them to the teleports star. Them to the star. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. See what I got was and there I, was some kind of like they're sharing an experience with their ancestors or something. Those right. Ancestors. This is, well, this or those was, other Wookies that are also coming to the, the neighborhood life day yeah, celebration. Yeah. Is, the, is it, it like a block party? The, yeah, I think it's impro- like a block okay, party. Right. Is okay. there barbecue? Is there mustacholian some right. fried chicken yeah. later? It's a potluck. Right. Yeah. Okay, but there, there's there's okay, so there's there's a very important commercial break that happens here. <laughs> so what I'm what I'm trying to say is prior to the commercial break, okay. it felt like oh okay, all of the Wookie past and present clans are all going into the star and they're going to, you know, have like a kumbaya that this magical clothes that they hold on life day. Right. They're heaven's them. gate moment. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. But then we come back from commercial or whatever and uh, Han and Leia and Chewie are there and uh, time to sing like in day carols. Yeah. Right. And we're like, where the fuck is this? And then Carrie Fisher starts <laughs> singing. Uh, a, 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 a bad song? A tree of yeah. life a, a, song? A boring yeah. song? And her head is bobbing around. Those eyes are rolling around her head. She is high as fuck. She Wouldn't really is. you be, though, I mean, you were how, do you, how else are you going to get through this? You yeah. know? Wouldn't she just be like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking walkies. Yeah. yeah. That is right. Aside from Mark Hamill, he's the only like true nerd in the whole group. Yeah. Everybody else is like, this is the dumbest shit that I have ever had to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> they probably thought they were done after they made the movie. They're like, we're free of this. Don't have to think about it again. Yeah, no. it was fun when I got paid for it and it was cool and yeah. it became a big hit. I'm very happy. And then it just went on for the rest of their lives. Yeah. Yep. Um, Literally the rest of their lives. Yeah. And then that ends and we're like, ah, uh, thank God it's over. But nope. It comes back again. We have to pray around the table before we have our life day feast. Yeah. I think this is how this is why Wookiees uh, are able to age and be so old because they have the Good. life day ceremony. I think this is why it's so important. Goodbye. I think this is why it's so important that they that Chewie gets back because if he doesn't, he's gonna like lose years. <laughs> maybe. Oh, I think this yeah. is why I like this. One. I like this. Yeah. yeah. You know this what? Is, uh, and they have to all do it together and promote longevity. Sure. Yes. And yeah. you have to come back to your family in order to be able to, like I said, promote longevity. So he's recharging. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. exactly. Souls of all the other Wookiees. But I think okay. this is what they do. I don't know if this is it's canon. It's literally whatever, called feels, Life Day. Yeah, I feel mm-hmm. like this is the point. Yeah. Like they commune right. with huh. their fellows and their past and they all get into the star and huh. fucking energize up and they're all good for another Yeah, because there's not much other ritual to it. That's it. Yeah. And then yeah. you eat. And that, right. that's it. That's Life eat Day. Eat your Bantha roast. Yeah. 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 Or was it the Bantha rump? No, only if you have no, more only people. Only if you have a big family. Yeah, okay, only if you have so it was the Bantha loin. Yeah, yes. mm-hmm. which was a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Right? Yeah, yeah, it was very small. <laughs> I'm like, that looks like a regular loin. Mm-hmm. I saw how big the Banthas. They're fucking in Star Wars. Them. Those are those yeah. big like Banthas are huge buffalo the, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what got decapitated, right? Yeah, yeah. Banthas yes. are huge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, the Tusken Raiders or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah they ride them. Yeah, yeah, a little bit bigger. Yeah, should be bigger. Um, okay. The loin but of I a mean, bantha, and that's where we are. But I mean, you got to end Star Wars, you know, around the around the table having a prayer, right? Yeah, life, right. life yeah. day yeah. prayer. Yeah. It was very uh, life affirming and uh, CBS. Yeah. Yeah. Pray, yeah, because we're again leading into Thanksgiving or the holiday of your choice. Apparently, yes. it's a, you know the holiday special. It's an evergreen holiday special. Evergreen. Con, you can watch this all year long. 
I'm going to watch and it. And Michaela watches this every yeah. year. Yeah, okay, so you tell us about that. Every yeah. year. You are sicker <laughs> than any thing, person, whatever we've brought to this show, <laughs> that you watch this every year. Every it year. Is, yeah, it you is. are more warped than the man who brought Ilsa Shewolf of the SS. I, it is a, <laughs> I, this, is a, this is a compliment, but... I, I feel like I'm on trial right now. I have to justify, make my case here. No, we're... But, no, I understand. <laughs> no, I understand. Um, I get I, it. My, You're among friends. Yes. It is, it this is, is a safe space. <laughs> it is a tradition between my husband and I. I got him started on it. Of course, he would not bring this into our relationship. Relationship, of course not, but um, You're the sick bastard. Of this yes, scenario. Yeah. And uh, so I, we started watching it, and the tradition is we make like a Christmas cookie edible. We eat it. We watch this. We open presents. It's like okay. We eat what? snacks. I yeah. like this. So yeah, this I like. And um, the more you said, like it's cute. It's yeah, really cute. yes. Yeah. I like, but I, like. I will as say, long as you're not sitting there staring at this and watching no, and everything. I'll look up and okay. laugh every couple minutes okay, at something. Thank you. But, okay. I don't, no. Okay. But I, I will say in recent years he can't take it anymore so we've switched <laughs> <laughs> we've switched to the Rift Tracks version. Okay. Which yeah. like is a lot more tolerable because there's so many stretches of silence in this that they really fill in those gaps. That's uh, nice. So yeah, it, it okay. feels a lot faster when you're watching the Rift Tracks version okay. too. So I'll that's our that. compromise. He's like I can't do it anymore. We gotta get Make this more palatable somehow, sure. so we watch I the Rift Tracks version. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow, honey, mm-hmm. we need to talk. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's yeah. about the Star would, Wars yeah. holiday special. I would give anything to be there for the first viewing yeah. and with him to see what his reaction was. <laughs> B- pure bewilderment. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> un- unreal. What am I? What am I watching? Is he a big Star Wars fan? Oh yeah, ba- yeah. Really? He's the one who recommended the most the Tales from the Most Likely Cantina uh, book to me. Oh, He's okay. re- read a bunch of the extended universe stuff, so uh, I think I've never seen this. I think he was hopeful that like they would bring that stuff into this, and that it would be like some continuity or background context. No, this is just no, just be completely Arthur off the rails. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm-hmm. This barely <laughs> for a Star Wars special. I mean, I know it's got Wookiees and everything, but this doesn't really feel like Star. Wars. No, no it doesn't at that's all. the that's the. the I guess thing. that's the thing. Yeah, but I but that's we wonder. You know, now Star Wars feels different because yes. you've had you know the, all the, of it. The, the We've had all of it, Colin. and then the yeah, all this stuff. But back then there was one movie. Yep. Right. There was one. And then it was like, well, this is what we do on television. We do variety shows. And yes. Those two worlds collided. Sometimes in a spectacular you, you, fashion. You have to love that the, the time some of these came out because they would never happen. Stuff like this might not ever happen. If it hadn't come out at that exact time in 1970, you say that, but there's the Guardians of the Galaxy. But, that's only, but it's only that's happening only because, because of this. Of this. Right. Yeah. And will it? I mean, will it be like? The, no, but now they're trying to I, do that's it. That's the and thing. Stuff? I think it's yeah. going to be bad because it's going to try and be bad. Well, that's what I'm saying. It just like it's, so. I think it's not going to be yeah. fun. Yeah, the only this way, could only happen at this time. Exactly. Because you'd have to take the cast from like Spider-Man: Far From Home and put them on like a game show or something. Like uh, the, the mass singer, yeah, which they probably yeah. will some do something like crazy that. shit like that, and like you know, you'd have to be the first to do it. Like it's the stars of this movie are going to do this dumb thing that right. television does. Sean, what I'm hearing from you is we're lucky to exist at the same time as this, because wow, this could oh, yeah. only have happened now. How lucky yeah. are we to have existed know, during the time? The, there is of the Star Wars holiday special. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere turning and looking at all angles where you can be like I appreciate that I was alive for this um, I think only you know how to get there so yeah I mean it is from our era even though it's from it feels like a past era but no we are alive during this period uh-huh. when uh, when the Star Wars holiday special exists this sounds like wrap ups but uh, we're going to tell you whether or not you should watch this uh, amazing uh, and educational you, informative you, you, Watch your words. Okay. Uh, But first of all, we're going to answer some of your mail, and in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman, and his name is Igor. Bring us the mail. (laughs) Oh, thank you, Igor. That is a heavy, heavy mailbag. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Igor. Thanks. I got nothing. I don't think Igor would know what to do if he watched this. It's a good thing we put Igor him in the other room for this. Watching this again, I think he oh. ident- like he identifies with the Wookies. 
I'm worried of what this will do to his psyche, you know? Is there some common an- ancestry there? I just hope he's high. <laughs> <laughs> he should be. Well, we want to remind you again how you can participate in this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Freak Show. Or on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. MF Matt, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak uh, Show. Wall did we put Lumpy on the wall? We did put somebody on the wall. Carrie Who Fisher? The- yes, we did. Yay! Oh, I'm sorry, this is how we had to do it. For but what? she belongs there. For Oh, uh, for what? When do we have Carrie Fisher? The Burbs? Yes. Yep. Did you guys do Blues Brothers at any point? No. Star Wars Holiday Special. I just mm-hmm. gave you that yeah. one. Yeah. That's yeah. two. But three, she apparently was the uncredited woman kissing on the bridge in Hook. She was. It was she her was. and George Lucas. Yeah, she was. That's her and George Lucas in the movie. So, uh, I forgot about that. (laughs) Forever memorialized on this massive wall behind Sean there. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, we're going to put her picture up. It's going to be. Colin, we are going to do some remodeling and take down. I know, because there's a lot of people on this wall at this point. Sweet, Carrie. Um, Okay, about uh, tonight's episode, Star Wars Holiday Special, Adam Kaler writes in and says, a family of dogs try to cook without (laughs) hairnets. The son of Cousin It introduces Cirque du Soleil. Oh, shit, we forgot about that. Oh, yeah, there's a whole fucking Cirque du Soleil Soleil thing. thing. Yeah, Yeah. that goes on for a long time. Long time. Yeah, yeah, which I, uh, this is when I started yelling at Michaela. I'm just like, what have you done? (laughs) I knew it had just started at that (laughs) point. Uh, Dorothy Zabornak sings to a giant rat and an evil deadite has a virtual reality. Relations in a 1950s hair salon dryer while listening yeah. to Jefferson Starship sing into a large purple glow stick. 70s television was a kind of a magical time. When you put it that way. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's my wrap up. Yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that was amazing, Adam. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you. Travis Legler says, Michaela, I love you and I'm reaching out because I'm worried about you. Do we need to have an intervention? I understand you've had to sit through some bad movies. Halloween 2, the TV cut, Society, Samurai Cop, Carnosaur. But fucking A, lady, this Samurai Cop is, is fun. an attempt to Samurai kill one's soul. Uh, I'm immune to this. I just, I, mean, just I, I choose to watch this every year. I don't feel it. We, you know, that's why an intervention. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Intervention. You know, we, folks, if you stop bringing up the movies I picked in the past, I don't think everyone here will be as mad as me. You know, stop what, honestly, them. though, the ones that he brought up, it's not even the ones that I'm most mad at you. For. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, nothing but trouble. And Howard the Duck are definitely yeah. like top two on that list. Well, Ted Rawson Shocking says dark, the. Uh, oh yeah, Kathy's curse. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad I got to see those movies, Sean. No, I'm not giving you like real shit. Uh, Ted Rawson says the best thing I am about educating this. Educating you. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Ted Rawson says the best thing about this is that it inspired the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. We'll see. Yeah. I have no idea this is going to yeah. be. Yeah, we'll see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure David Hasselhoff will have a cameo in it. I'm, I'm sure. sure. I'm sure. Hey, maybe we'll get Sly. I hope so because they hyped him up so much in Guardians Two, and he had one scene. Yeah, yeah. that was disappointing. Yeah. Well, Michael Whitaker says, as a kid, I thought the Star Wars holiday special was just a general dig at holiday specials. Not that it really existed, but oh, my God, (laughs) Life Day is a weird holiday. (laughs) Itchy's watching virtual reality porn and Princess Leia is clearly Princess Leia is clearly lit up during singing of the Star Wars theme repurposed. As a Life Day song. Oh, yeah. Did we mention her song is kind of set to the Mm -hmm. uh, Star Wars fanfare? Uh, Kevin Clark says the holiday special where Luke was a shiny like a Ken doll, yes. an old senior he Wookiee. He did look like a Ken doll. A Ken doll. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? He did. He, he really it's, did. It's yeah, she looks like the Ken doll from Toy Story. I know. Yeah, I was like, does. I was Ken like doll. thinking about. It, I'm like, he looks like a Ken doll that yeah. I had growing up. Because <laughs> yeah. there's he no really texture. Does. His face yeah. is just flat. Eyes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, he also says uh, also in it, an old senior Wookiee got some virtual nookie, <laughs> but we got one hell of a great and fantastic song from B. Arthur. We got something. Yeah. She was trying. She's trying. She made an effort. She did what she could, man. Yeah. Yeah. The Uh, only thing she knew how to do. Peter Gatt says, as bad as the Star Wars holiday special was, it was still more enjoyable than The Last Jedi. Uh, I don't know about that. I, don't know I mean, that. I, and I don't like the last Jedi. <laughs> I don't either, but, but I don't know about that. <laughs> Tony but Bradshaw has a narrative. <laughs> Tony Bradshaw says Star Wars holiday special was made especially for the kids to sell a marginal amount of lame Kenner toys. Yeah, yeah there yeah. was. Um, we didn't watch a version Some with commercials. We watched without, but it, the version with commercials, like 
mo- several of the commercial breaks are like, get the Kenner toy collection now. And it shows all the Star Wars action figures mm-hmm, and stuff. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, okay. They really hit it hard. All right. Because mm-hmm. I was curious. I'm like, mm-hmm. what figures? Yeah. There was no lumpy figure. No, it's, it's basically like a bunch of New Hope okay. action figures. So. I bought them all. <laughs> uh, DVD Hunter says... I recently watched it with my kids, and we laughed so hard when a stormtrooper walks through the door and tries to hit one of the Wookiees with the side of his blaster. Yeah. yeah. He's like, actually, yeah, what the hell? There's this, like, a line in the original Star Wars where, like, you know, you don't want to make a Wookiee mad because he's going to tear your arms off or whatever. When they lose the space chess. Yeah. 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 But apparently, like, they're afraid of of uh, stormtroopers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, last week, we watched a movie that was called Terror Train. Brett Williams wrote in oh, yeah. and said, I was able to convince my wife to watch this slasher flick on movie night in December because you guys were reviewing it the next day, but I discovered she hasn't seen Prom Night either, so it looks oh. like two slashers for the Christmas season so she can see the Jamie Lee Curtis early slasher trifecta. Oh, go. yeah, you got to watch them. Gotta catch them all. I feel like we gotta do the other ones now to I fill it all out. Like well, yeah, because what is it gonna left. be Halloween or the fog or Halloween two or road games? We haven't done road games. The other yeah. one in the mm-hmm. trifecta mm-hmm. that he's watching. Yeah, mm-hmm. two. Uh Simon Carter says, I always like the mystery element of Terror Train. I can't go so far to say that it was a great movie, but it was fun enough to watch. There you go. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk spooky to me says, Did you yes. think Doc and Mo had a secret gay relationship? It kind of implied by Doc when he said he would take care of Mo in one of the scenes. Well, you haven't heard our episode. Yeah, yet. it yeah. sounded good. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Yeah, there, we specifically answer that question. Mm-hmm. We do. The week before that, we watched a movie called Society about Ugh. that. <laughs> Still provoking a reaction. Mm-hmm. Yep. Speaking about reactions, Grant Parrish says, Fucking Sean! That was my thought, too. Yeah. <laughs> also, Billy was giving big Kristen Stewart energy. He was going to say something a lot. <laughs> Just walking around with his mouth hanging open. Yeah. <laughs> he does have that Kristen That's Stewart funny. look about him. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, Mark Harrison says, is this the film that killed Heidi Kozak's career? Killed my spirit. And it turned out a lot of things. <laughs> this was the last movie that she did. Uh, she was also in, I don't know if we mentioned, she was in Slumber Party Massacre 2. Is this the pink girl the girlfriend yep. okay. yeah and this nice. in friday the 13th part seven and then i think right. this was her last theatrical movie but mark she did go on and kept doing like tv appearances uh even recently so she's still working <laughs> nicholas diak says devin devasquez that's uh she was a playboy model who was in society as the the girl that billy warlock's so always Gotcha. Was, but okay. he says that she was my favorite Andy Sidaris girl. Okay, so does that mean anything to you guys? Nope. All right. <laughs> Andy Sidaris <laughs> was a filmmaker who made these direct-to-video movies that usually had girls with big jugs and the guns, and there was a movie called Guns, and Devin Va- DeVasquez was in it. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm, All right. Sounds... But he made a fuckload of movies, including Malibu Express and Hard Times. And That's uh, where I know it. Times. Okay. There it is. He, okay. Um, yeah. I know Hard Times. He yeah. also, didn't he do Hard Ticket to I was just going to say, it sounds like a Hard Ticket to, it sounds like the guy that would direct it. Stay go. tuned. Yeah, yeah, it's been on my list for a while. <laughs> That's been on my list for yeah. a long Stay time. <laughs> I, know. I know we have never done the Andy Sidaris, and I feel like there's like something we're missing. Yeah, we're going to have to dip into it. Yeah. Bill Hainer says, tell Igor there there will be no shunting in the basement. Agreed. No, there will no, not. We are all in agreement on that. Ooh, yeah. He kind of looks like he's already been shunted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's he the does. The aftermath of a shunt. Yeah. Uh, Teresa Ann says, Bride of Reanimator and Freaked are uh, better works of Brian Usen and Screaming Mad George. Probably, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, the the previous week from that, we watched a movie called Habit, and Neri Batan says you totally missed how incredibly hot Meredith Snader was in that movie. That alone is worth the admission ticket. Well, if that's if that works for you, then good for if you. If that's your thing, yep. yeah. yeah, cool. Yep. They didn't like Habit, <laughs> Neri. I like Sean that. and I did. We liked that. Okay. Like that. Sean didn't like it until his wrap up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was expressing my opinion on it. Classic and, Sean uh, move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rolling his eyes and sighing the whole movie and then recommends yeah, what it. What was the one well, that I was not sudden, rolling my eyes and sighing the whole movie? Yeah. Then Michaela likes society and surprised everybody. <laughs> I, I, I would say I didn't like it. I said, there's some boxes you got to check in life. Those are two different things. That's very true. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now we're going to go around the table and we're going to tell you what we thought of Star Wars. The holiday special 
No, it's the Star Wars holiday there you special. Go, yes. Starting with Holly. Oh. You hi. go first. Thank What'd you, you think That's about good. the Star Wars holiday special? Wow. Um, wow. I I I had seen this, but it was like wiped from my memory completely. Um It's gonna probably go away again. Oh yeah. I'm gonna guess. Um I hope so. I hope it does. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, I for some reason my memory of this was like a straight up variety show, like Sunny and Cher style, and I don't know why I'm <laughs> thinking that. I, I don't I see, know. No, I see why you're maybe I've just your brain trying to protect yeah, you. Maybe I've just right. seen a lot it of like holiday variety bad. shows like Dean Martin and shit. Yeah, like that. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe I've just seen enough mm-hmm. that that's what I replaced it with. Gets in there. Yeah. Um that's not what this is <laughs> <laughs> at all. This is uh, variety. T- variety show is a very loose term for this uh, variety because it's a hodgepodge of things. So yes, it is a variety. So that's a variety. Yeah. yeah, it is a variety. This is a um, hodgepodge show. I think like the original like idea of a variety was like the old, old days of vaudeville when they had different talents to, mm. to showcase. They yeah. had dancing and singing. Yeah, that required talent to right. be present here. There was yeah. different talents to showcase. That's mm. not really what's happening here. <laughs> um, they're showcasing something, and you know, Colin, you said it all of this stuff was probably made in a weekend mm-hmm. and it feels like it. You have to be high watching this. You it absolutely have mm-hmm. to. Yeah. You have to be. It's pretty, it, it's pretty unwatchable unless you're under the influence. Um, but I feel like it's an experience that you should have. The box you gotta check, you would say. I huh? feel like it yeah. is. I feel like it is. It sucks. It's awful, but it's hilariously awful. It's bizarre. It's fucking bizarre. But I think you should watch it. I'm going to say that. I think you should watch it. Colin. Oh, boy. (laughs) Colin's turn to lay down. Yeah. um, Okay. So I had seen this before. And um, my relationship with Star Wars has changed (laughs) over the years. Oh, no. no. Come up, guys. Colin was born on Tuesday. (laughs) I was one of those people who was like Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back are like some of the greatest movies that have ever been made. And so they were like, holy writ, you know. And Return of the Jedi to a lesser extent, but they were part of the Holy Trilogy, right? The Jedi. The the Jedi. Jedi. Sorry, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Sacred Jedi Jedi. text. Yes. And, um... And then there were a bunch of other Star Wars things, and then it kind of to er, my uh, enthusiasm began to erode. You know, if they're just been, if they just were those three, kind of like Back to the Future. There's just three of them. They're like they're classic. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and so no one's to trying me, to expand the universe on those. Yeah, nobody's yet. trying to. Yeah, not yet. When Spielberg, because, when Spielberg dies, <laughs> uh, Bob Gale or whatever. Well, yeah, when I know, he but. dies. Um, but yeah, I guess my attitude towards Star Wars has changed because now there's so much of it and most of it's crap. I just don't like a lot of Star Wars. So I'm like, maybe I don't like Star Wars. So the first time I watched, um, uh, okay, I still like those original, but those are classics. <clears throat> I don't like all this other stuff. I don't care. Uh, but the first time I saw this, I think I was in the, the Venn diagram puts me in the uh, camp of I like Star Wars and I was mortally offended by everything <laughs> that I saw in this because it was like and again I didn't see it at the time I saw it later and it was like what the fuck they're shitting all over Star Wars mm-hmm. blah 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 now that I don't care about Star Wars as much I'm watching this and I'm like okay I'm actually sitting down and watching this thing and so the first thing uh, you know that, that comes to me is it's boring as hell I mean like you know <laughs> we're sitting here we watched it together and so it's kind of it was a party atmosphere right yes. um I think if you just are like I'm gonna watch the Star Wars holiday special it's gonna be lethally awful I mean it is just <laughs> boring as yeah yes. it's boring as hell you want to yeah. fast forward through parts of it. it it the pace of it is is very strange it's very keeping I think with the 70s where you watch stuff that was on TV because it was on TV, you didn't have a choice. You couldn't, like, where are you going to go? Yeah, that's why yeah, this got two. 20 million views. It was yeah. the only thing on There's TV. There's absolutely no reason for this to be an hour and 40 minutes. No. At the time that this aired, you had two other choices. That was ABC and NBC, right? Yeah. So you could watch the Star Wars Holiday Special, which was probably on a Friday night, right? Because mm-hmm. they were preempting, we found out, 
The Incredible Hulk and Wonder Woman. Yeah, that was so, sad, right, guys? Yeah, that was probably sad football on one of the other you channels. Flipped yeah. over to whatever was. Yeah, yeah well, I would have loved yeah. if this was like a break in and just like a broadcast on all networks. <laughs> oh my god, that <laughs> would be they, amazing. Would, I, you know what? If they did that every year, still, that would. Be, <laughs> they should have. Like they should have done a video. Yeah. They should have done it like a propaganda video. Yeah. They should have. But yeah. that's why, like everybody used to say, like everybody's seen Gone with the Wind or the Ten Commandments or mm, uh, It's a on. Wonderful Life. It was right, the only fucking thing on, and now you don't have that anymore so now you have to actually seek this out to watch it should you seek it out (laughs) to watch it i guess is the question as a relic of uh like the space-time continuum that we exist in i mean i don't know am i gonna recommend it i don't know it's so i can see it in your face bizarre (laughs) you know like it's it takes this thing the Star Wars that we know where it, where it becomes and how it becomes, but it's an anomaly that's like the creators themselves have said you shouldn't watch it, and just <laughs> because of that, it feels like well then you should go watch it, you know. Uh, so did I have fun with it? No, it's an affront to the senses. <laughs> it's just patently bizarre, psychedelic, yes, um, but yeah, I guess as a uh, you know as a milestone in some. The fact that it's taking, like, you know, the variety, the, the mm-hmm. variety show, which nobody will associate, you know, anything. Nobody actually, I think I saw, like, they tried a while ago, maybe somewhere in the 2000s, uh, Kelsey Grammer and the Fox Network tried to do a variety show. I don't remember what the hell it was called, but mm. he, like, was the showrunner on it or some kind oh. of creative driving force on this? Maya Rudolph tried to do one too. Mm-hmm. They all, yeah, yeah, every now and again, they, they keep bringing back the variety. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, Jessica Simpson and yeah, Nick Lachey had a yeah, Christmas yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And yep. I think Chrissy no, but this Teigen was a weekly. And, uh, this was a weekly. Oh, yeah. The Frasier one, or sorry, yeah. <laughs> the Kelsey Grammer <laughs> one. The Maya Rudolph one was weekly. Was it? It was canceled pretty quick, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the the Kelsey Grammer one was also yeah. canceled because nobody remembers this format. Nobody likes this format anymore. No. Um, so this is a it's a curio. It's a peek into the world of 1978 post Star Wars. Uh, you know the explosion. Um, so I think it was part of the historical record. Right, because we already established that Star Wars is the, it is like the greatest pop culture thing that's ever been created. Historians in the future will think it was a religion with how prominent yeah. it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So because of that, you owe it to yourself to see the Star Wars holiday special mm-hmm. at uh, Easter or your favorite Fourth of July, whatever. Arbor Day. Yeah, your birthday. <laughs> you know, so something bad. celebrate Star Wars holiday special. No, it's but it's it's gonna be it's gonna be like yeah you know, it's gonna be a, a test <laughs> of your metal. But no, I like you were saying like if you're don't go into it as a Star Wars fan. No, no, no. Like, don't go not. into it no. because you like Star it Wars. It will shit go all for the long. spectacle. Yeah, it will kill your childhood. Yeah. <laughs> this no, and then it, and it's such an enigma. Like I didn't even know I was gonna recommend it until I heard myself say it. <laughs> like that's how much you were possessed yeah. by the spirit yeah. of it. Yeah. That's yeah. how much of an enigma this is. Yeah. Well, I'm saying it's yeah. bad, but it's a part of uh, well, not even cinematic television history, mm-hmm. and therefore has to be watched uh, just so future generations don't repeat. This, <laughs> These uh, mistakes. Yeah. Learn yeah. from the past. You're doomed yeah. to repeat it. Yeah. Right. Which is what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> so where are the harbingers, though? Of the yeah, James Gunn. We're beware. telling you to stop right now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Sean, what do you think? <laughs> um, I I agree with what you guys said. There are uh, circumstances uh, in which you you should watch this. Um, I think that's what we got to be. It is. It's hard to sit here and say don't watch this piece of television history because it is television history. It is star Wars history. Even though this is the, it feels the most unlike star Wars of anything I've ever watched that had star Wars in the name. Um, if you're going to watch this, never be alone. Uh, <laughs> call someone and tell them that you're going to just so they can check on you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and welfare check. Yeah. Yes, for welfare sure. checks for sure. We're doing this. Um, and, and be monumentally high mm-hmm. yes. because that is, I will uh, I will watch this again, but I'm going to try it monumentally high. Yeah, because it's the only way it is it's a psychedelic mind fuck is what this yep. whole thing is. Yep. Like it is so bizarre. I had never seen it, and you have weird dreams tonight, aren't you? I was. It was. Yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah. <laughs> My mind was blown by this. I couldn't, especially the VR Wookiee porn. Like yeah. I can't. Couldn't believe this was on TV. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. For I mean, for these reasons alone, like it's too much of a curio to ignore um, how you watch it. I mean, that's up to you and you should take precautions. But 
Yeah, you should watch it. God damn it. <laughs> I hate to say it, but yeah, you should watch this thing because it's so fucking bizarre. Um, yeah, so that's going to be a recommend from me. Wow. Michaela, take us home. She's wow. going to yeah. hate it. No. She's gonna, here it comes. She's going to say, don't watch it. <laughs> well, I mean, like. That would be the ultimate turn. <laughs> I know. All of us would be like, I got you to recommend this. Like, you son of a bitch. I, welcome to my life day, cult, you guys. I'm glad you all agreed to join us. Oh, yeah, up. So, Where's you our know. orbs? Yeah. Gonna lift up yeah. the Where's our the star. <laughs> There's the star. <laughs> It works much like a pyramid scheme, so you guys will all be my downline. So <laughs> oh, thank shit, you for right. signing up. Uh, no, I didn't I mean, mean to wear a hooded red hoodie today. Didn't yes, mean, you're ready for it. I'm ready for it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's the same thing we were saying last week. It's the spectacle, right? You got to always see the spectacle. So like, it's it might not be good. It might be boring, but you never see anything else like this the guardians of the galaxy thing is not really comparable because that's no. going to be so self-aware it's not going to be funny mm-hmm. it's going to be trying to be bad it's going to be big budget you know yeah. it's just not it's not going to be written in a weekend colin it's not going to be written by cocaine it's going to be they don't have bruce valanche on that writing side. right <laughs> <laughs> just out of sheer like we need good luck on this right uh. so <laughs> this is a this is a moment in time that we are lucky to exist during the same time as i think and so i think for that reason you have to watch it I agree a lot with what you guys said. It is painful. There are times you want to fast forward. You have to be high. You cannot be alone. Like no. it should be like mm-hmm. if you are watching this movie alone, you should someone should do a welfare check on you because mm-hmm. it's it's just not healthy. And we know it's the holidays, so yeah, be really be don't. It yeah. Is, yeah, it is bad that this is a holiday special because yeah. nothing makes me want to kill myself <laughs> yeah. more than watching. This. If you're not, if you're <laughs> during not during the holidays, if you're not sure, there is the Riff Tracks version, and on YouTube there's also a best of Riff Tracks, which is just like 30 minutes of like the best jokes from it. Oh, yeah. Try that and see how that goes like right. micro good, microdose it yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's a good idea yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. microdose it and see how it goes um and even the commercials that originally aired with the show are also in their own compilation on youtube that you can just watch the original 70s commercials that aired between the special that so is fucking dedication yes anything you any way you want to watch it you can have it you want a piece of this you want a piece of that you can you can watch it um uh, I, I hope you didn't come to see The Incredible Hulk because he will not be airing tonight. That was a truly sad way to start the special. But you got to to see it because there are boxes you got to check in life and th- this is never going to come around again. So appreciate it while we've got it. Freak show approved. Freak it show, is freak approved. show approved. I just want you to say the full thing. Star Wars holiday special. Yeah. Freak show approved. Star Wars holiday special is then freak show approved. That means yeah. you, you have to inside. watch it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can find it on YouTube or at your out of bootleg DVD or Blu-ray. Yep, if you go to any conventions, there's someone bootlegging them all, yeah. always. So well, I'm sure it has that you can watch it with the commercials yep. or without the commercials right. yep. or the commercials by themselves in a little block. Yep. Yeah. Um, or the Boba Fett thing in HD yep. ripped off the, right. the Disney. Or yeah. just the Kenner doll commercials yeah. for the action figures. Yep. Very exciting. It is an exciting time that we live in. It is. <laughs> all right. So. Uh, Not because of this, but it is an exciting time. <laughs> I think this is this our Christmas episode or not sure. No, I think it's the week before. Okay, well, Merry Christmas. I mean, it's the gift we're giving to them. Yeah, Yeah. that's right. Yes. Um. So now, next week, we're gonna watch a movie that's chosen by Colin. What's what's, oh no? What's our Christmas vengeance, Colin? Uh, Yeah. What's uh? That's right. In this Venn diagram, spirit of punishment. There we're putting. What? uh, Why? No. Uh. Uh. uh, Podcast. The circle of pain happening here. It's Christmas. That's right. So we're going, these are all choices. You I'm make giving. I'm giving okay. the, the the greatest gift that I can, and it's a movie called Night Train to Terror. <laughs> I talked about it last week. Ah. It's like a com- it's a trailer that never stops. It's amazing. You're all gonna right. have to see it. Night Train to Terror is all coming right. next okay. week okay. on the Saturday Night Freak Show. More trains. More trains. Right, more trains. Because <laughs> it's Train Month. <laughs> okay. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. We're declaring it now that the month's almost over, but it's yes. train month. Did you know it was train month last month? <laughs> we just found out. We're ending with the Polar Express. There you go. <laughs> oh God, no, I, I won't be will here. not be I, here. I hate that movie. I hate I you don't will come not at me. Polar Didn't Express is a bad already? movie. You did we you? did a couple Chris? of those Zemeckis you might have. animated. You might we did have. Christmas Carol. Oh, oh, oh I'm that's sorry. Right. We did Tintin right. and all that. Oh, yeah, you did Christmas Carol. Yeah, I didn't do Polar Express or Bad. Well, it's a bad movie, so. Polar Express is a bad movie. It is a bad movie. No, I don't. No? No. I thought we, you guys we did were Beowulf. going to, and then there was a problem. We couldn't yeah, do it. Yeah, you didn't so miss Is that when we okay. tried to podcast from the van? Maybe. <laughs> oh, the days of, yeah, trying to. Okay, uh. so um, anyway, um, uh, we want to remind you. So uh, coming up, like we said, we're going to do. Oh, the other thing that we're going to do. Uh, coming soon, we're going to do our best of and worst of oh uh, yeah Yeah. so stay tuned for that one we've been studying hard for that that. yeah that's right okay so we hope you'll join us on our 
future adventures in the future. In galaxies uh, far, far away and very close. <laughs> but until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.